Hey yogis, I'm Claire Kagan. Welcome back to my channel where you learn to love yourself and others through yoga. Today's class is a short supine yoga sequence and supine means lying down on your back. So throughout this whole sequence, all we're gonna do is lie down and stretch from that position. So this is a great sequence for any time that you're feeling a little under the weather or you're super tired or even when you're winding down and wanting to get right into bed. As always, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to this channel. New videos go up every Wednesday. For this class, I would recommend having a block and a strap. And if you don't have those items, that's okay. You can find some substitutes around your home. Instead of a block, you can use books, you can use a shoebox, you can use pillows. I would recommend pillows for this practice. If you don't have a strap, you can use a belt, a bathrobe tie, a ribbon, a a rope, a shirt, a towel, whatever you have lying around. Once you've got your materials and you're ready to get started, go ahead and meet me on the mat. Once you make your way to your mat, go ahead and lie all the way down on your back. We're gonna stay like this for the entire class. Now grab your strap or whatever you're using as a strap nearby and place it in a loop around the arch of your right foot to start off. Left foot can be resting on the mat right underneath your left knee. Hold on to the strap with both of your hands. And here we're just stretching through the back of the leg. So your options here are to keep your knee straight but soft. If it's feeling like there's a lot of pressure in the back of your knee, you can bend it a little bit more. With your hands, just begin to pull on your strap any amount so that you feel a stretch in the back of your right leg, but definitely no strain. Breathe here into the sensation in the back of your right leg. You have the option to keep your left sole of your foot on the mat, or you can elongate your left leg out onto the mat. Just try and keep all of your toes pointing up to the ceiling instead of flopping out to the side. Take one more breath here. And begin to just grab onto the strap with your right hand. So hold onto the strap with your right hand. And with your left hand, place it on top of your left hip point. We'll start to open the right leg out to the side. Any amount here. So what's important is keeping the left side of the pelvis rooted down onto the mat. So. If you feel it lifting off, that probably means that you've made it to your fullest expression of the pose and just stay there and keep your left hip rooted. Focus on the opening sensation in your inner right thigh. Just like when your leg was above you, try to keep your knee straight but soft. Take one more breath here. On your next inhale, sweep your leg back upright to stack over your hip. Switch hands on the strap. So this time grab with your left hand onto the strap and with your right hand, place it on top of your right hip point. Here we're, we'll take the right foot over toward the left side and this is not a twist. So keep both sides of your pelvis rooted down that's what your right hand is for to remind your right hip to stay grounded and just slightly drag your right foot over to the left again keep your knee straight but soft so if you can see the computer screen right now if you're looking at the video you might not even be able to tell that I'm bringing my right foot over to the left. That's because this is a really tiny movement. It's not a twist. It's not a big stretch. 
but hopefully you're feeling a lot of sensation in the outer line of your right leg. One more breath here. And then bring your right foot to stack back on top of your right hip. Bend your right leg, release your strap, and set it aside for just a moment. Bring your left sole of your foot back onto the mat and cross your right ankle over your left thigh, preparing for a figure four or reclined pigeon. So you can stay right here just like this with the sole of your left foot on the floor. If you would like to make this stretch more intense, you can lift up your left foot and hold behind your thigh with your hands interlaced. You also have the option to use your strap behind your thigh if interlacing your hands isn't super comfy here. If you use your strap, that gives you the opportunity to relax both of your shoulders and arms down onto the ground. So I really like that variation here. And you also have the option to grab in front of your shin if you feel like you need more. Any of these options are great choices, but do what feels right for you here. Do what feels easy and effortless. Allow yourself to let go. Take one more breath in this reclined pigeon and release. Bring both soles of your feet back onto the mat and we'll switch sides with the strap. So I'm gonna turn around so I don't run into the wall, but you can stay right where you are. Start to loop your strap around the arch of your left foot, closer to the ball and hold on to it with both of your hands. Right sole of your foot can stay right on the mat where it is, or you can extend your right leg out long. Again, try to keep all of your right toes pointing up toward the ceiling instead of out to the side. And grab onto this strap in a way so that you can relax your shoulders on the mat. So we don't wanna be reaching so close to the strap that your shoulders shrug up toward your foot. You wanna just allow your shoulder blades to melt into the floor that's supporting you. And breathe here into the sensation in your hamstring and calf on your left leg. Take one more breath. And then hold onto the strap with just your left hand. Bring your right hand to your right hip point and swing your left leg out to the left. <clears throat> Any amount that feels good here. So if you feel your right hip starting to lift, that probably means you've gone just a little too far. Back off until your right hip can root down. Notice the sensation of the stretch in your inner left thigh. And find ease here wherever you can. Take one more breath. On your next inhale, lift your left leg back up to stack on top of your left hip. Switch hands on the strap, so right hand to the strap, left hand to left hip point, and then start to drag your left foot over to the right. Again, this tiny movement that you can barely even see, but it is definitely a stretch in the outer left leg 
You can feel that intense sensation. Let it be whatever it is here. As long as it's not pain, welcome that deep stretch. Inhale back to center. Release your strap from around your left foot. You can put it to the side for now. Bring your right sole of your foot back to the mat and cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Moving toward a reclined pigeon or figure four. You can stay just like this with right sole of your foot stacked on the mat underneath your knee, or you can start to lift up your right foot. Grab behind your right thigh, either with your hands or with your strap. Option to grab in front of your right shin. On your left leg, especially here, Flex your left foot so that you can protect your left ankle and your left knee. Notice the opening in your outer right hip. So we're getting a lot of really good hip and leg stretching in this supine yoga sequence. These are stretches I also love to do when I'm on my cycle. So any time that you are in that time of the month, <laughs> if you have that time of the month, you can do these poses and they're very restorative, very um, complementary to what your body is already doing during that time. One more breath and on your exhale, release. Grab your blocks or pillows or whatever you're using as a block substitute here. Stack your feet right underneath your knees at hips distance, preparing for a supported bridge pose. Let your palms come down to the mat, arms alongside your sides. Lift up your hips just for a moment to place a block or pillow underneath your pelvis and set your pelvis back down onto the block or pillow. So it should feel restful here. You don't want the pillow or the block to be digging in anywhere. So adjust until the block is on the flat part of the back of your pelvis. You can make whatever adjustments you need here. So you can choose to add another block or pillow if you want more elevation underneath your pelvis. You can also choose to straighten out your legs in front of you, out long on the mat. If you are choosing the straight leg version, this will be stretching especially in your hip flexors, in the front of your hips. begin to stack your feet underneath your knees one more time lift your pelvis up to remove your blocks or pillows or whatever was underneath it we'll do a similar thing here except it'll be at the top of our spine now so grab a block or pillow slide it underneath the top of your spine so ideally aligned underneath your lowest ribs. 
so that your head can hang off of the block and onto the floor. Let your shoulders just fall toward the mat and you can straighten out your legs again. This is a supported fish. So finally, we're starting to open the upper body a little bit, opening our chests and the fronts of our shoulders, even the abdominal muscles a little bit, and the neck and the throat. Settle into this restful pose. Come off of the block. And set your spine back down. Hug both knees into your chest. And we'll take a gentle twist. So bring your hands out to a T shape, your arms out to a T, or to cactus arms or goalpost arms. Up to you whether you want elbows straight or bent to 90 degrees. And just let your knees fall over to the right in a twist. Here, I would recommend keeping both of your shoulder blades rooted into the mat as your number one priority. So it doesn't really matter if your knees make it all the way to the ground. It's more important to keep your shoulder blades down. And you can either gaze up to the ceiling or over to the left if you want to include your neck in the twist. Inhale back to center and exhale drop your knees to the left. Again, do your best to keep your shoulder blades both rooted down into the mat. Wherever your knees end up, that is totally fine. It doesn't really matter. Either gaze up to the ceiling or over to the right. You even have the option to close your eyes here. Inhale back to the center, hug both knees into your chest one more time, come to a happy baby, either by grabbing the outer edges of your feet or your ankles or the backs of your thighs, whatever feels the most comfortable in your body. Whenever you're ready, make your way to your final resting pose, which today will be a Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound angle pose. So bring the soles of your feet to touch, knees out wide in a butterfly shape. You can bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart, and just rest here. You can pause this video if you want to spend a little longer time here and rest or you can slowly make your way up to a seat. Thank you so much for joining me for this supine sequence and I hope to see you back here on the mat again very soon. Namaste.